All right, everyone. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today, I'm updating you on my, it's kind of like my etc. project pans. It's like my pan that palette, or no, not my pan that palette. That was a different video. Wait, that's a different video. It's my usage project pans. I have some 20 usages. I have some one, I have 100 usage. And then I also have um, a pan in everything. So I'm working on this one shade that I'm trying to hit pan on. So yeah, this is kind of like my, my other project pans are basically things that I just want to finish. And so we watch my journey wanting to finish. This is me just trying to get some usage on it and on these things in some form and capacity. It's all eyeshadow. So that's fun. And that's exciting. What we'll go ahead and do is we'll start with, hmm, we'll start with my pan and everything because that has no progress. <laughs> um, this I'm trying to hit a uh, pan on. It's my ColourPop Super Shock shade in uh, Partridge. I've been using it a lot. I've been using it for a very long time. Still no pan. Um, those of you who say hitting pan in a Super Shock shadow is easy are liars. <laughs> Just kidding. No, but this one is like more firmly pressed. I know that sometimes it's easier to like hit pan in some of them depending on how um, emollient they are. But this one's like a little bit more firmly pressed in there. It's a little bit um, of a drier formula, I think. So yeah, not as easy, not as easy to hit pan on. We've been working on it for a while. We'll continue to work on it. Um, also right now, currently these last couple of weeks, I'm really trying to finish this one eyeshadow in my pan that palette. So the, a lot of like what's going on right now, it hasn't had like two weeks of usage. Normally I keep it in like a rotation of doing my makeup, but right now I'm slowly trying to figure or finish this one shade of my pan that palette. So everything that we're doing right now, we're talking about our usage, but not really these last couple weeks and like in the near the next few weeks as well I'm not going to be using these products just because again I'm trying to have my tunnel vision on finishing this one product so that being said let's go ahead and talk about my 20 usage project pan because I finally got 20 uses in my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette I've had usage before this but just for this project I wanted to bring it in and use it 20 times um I used I definitely used at least every shade like once look at the usage it looks great everything looks like it's been used which is amazing um there's like some dips some you know just like disturbances of the pan and i love it i really like this palette it's lovely um and it's definitely unique to my collection mainly like the proper peach shades um and then it has like the neutral shades you know the purple shades are fun they're a little patchy they're definitely one that you have to work on a little bit more but you know, they're great. The green shade, I still haven't really figured out how to use. It's a little murky on the lid that I'm not super fond of, but it's still usable. And I think it might be a little bit more of a me thing than anything else. The one shade, there's a couple shades that are a little frustrating slash very frustrating. One is Tempting, which is this uh, black shade that has, you know, some glitter throughout it. It's not a shimmer shade. It's definitely more of like glimmer or glitter in it but it has a lot of fallout so if and when I ever try to like finish this palette I'm not gonna touch that shade because it just every time I use it it's black specks on my eyes by the end of the day under my eyes by the end of the day and it was awful and unfair and not cool um there is talk derby to me which is like supposed to be almost like a midnight blue slash purple with some purple glitter in it, uh, that can be used as a black shade and it doesn't have fallout. So I'm just going to use that. Although, so it looks, what's frustrating is it looks like a midnight blue with like some purple sparkle in it, but it, it comes off as this mucky, <laughs> mucky mess a little bit. It's like a gray, not quite black. So um, you know, so some things that are disappointing, but that always happens with Too Faced palettes. I feel like there's always like a couple of questionable shades, which is very frustrating. It's like, can't you guys just get a palette that like works, <laughs> like everything in it works. There's always like a couple that they're like, oh, we tried hard enough. Um, and you're like, mm, you sure? So that's a little frustrating, but everything else is, it's fun. It's a good palette. I like it. I'm going to I will keep it around. Not that I was planning on decluttering it or thinking about decluttering it, but yeah. So that's my 20 usage. So what I'll be bringing in next for my 
palette 20 usage, but I have a single 20 usage that I'm trying to get still done. But my next palette is going to be the Winky Looks Kitten Palette. Um, and it was, I think, a collaboration with the BoxyCharm. This was, like, back during the pandemic, I was like, I'm going to rotate through my palettes and do, you know, five looks in a palette, like, with every palette and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, I did that, like, twice and then it fell off, mainly because I ran out of time, like, to film <laughs> every single day with, you know, five looks. Because, you know, all of a sudden the, the world came back together and we weren't just sitting in our homes anymore. Um, so I never really got to five usage on this. I've never used this palette. I've swatched this one like a number of times because obviously that duochrome is fun and exciting to look at, but I've never actually used this on my eyes. So I do want to use this 20 times. Um, yeah, and it'll be a slow going process. I pro I'm not going to start this more than likely until I finish my 20 usage on the single, single shade. Um, and this is like a sample shade that I got in an Ipsy box one time or Ipsy bag way back in the day. And it's this teeny tiny little one right there. And it has pan, which is great. I'm on five uses so far. So I have 15 more uses. And here's the thing. This were, you know, setting precedent slash, you know, this has probably never been done before, but I think we can finish that. Or at least be like so close to finishing that shade by the time I hit 15 uses. Because it was supposed to be like, or 20 uses. It was supposed to be a sample shade. So I think using something 20 times is a good sample. So, but anyways, I really want to do that. I think it'd be so cool. Cause again, one less shade out of my collection. So yeah, I don't know. I think it'd be sick. It'd be super cool. So yeah, once I hit the, my 20 uses on that single shade, then I'll go to my kitten palette, but that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. Feeling accomplished gonna be great next I have my 100 uses project pan or palette that I'm trying to hit 100 uses on um this was already in a pan and everything so it already had pan in every shade once I started the 100 uses and we're just trying to see like what the progress is like right now I'm on 19 uses so yeah it's the real her volume 3 I feel beautiful palette and again I'm trying to just use the same shades so we can see like maybe just maybe I can like basically pan this palette like quietly in the background but yeah so I have 19 uses on it what I use is to set my eyeshadow primer I've been using the flawless and then as my transition crease I've been using enchanting and then my eyeshadow my lid shade is going to be impeccable right here and divine is my deepening shade and then I'll use like I think I go between both of these as like a brow bone highlight for my inner corner, I don't think there's like a real inner corner highlight in this. I mean, this has like a bit of a shimmer to it, but it's not really like the pop that I want. So I just go um, for my, honestly, my face highlighter when I use it for my inner corner. So, but that's where we're at. Um, let's, let's look at the progress one more time. Look at that. I really want to finish like at least a whole shadow by the time this is used 100 times. I mean, the most obvious would be flawless, finishing that, but we'll see what actually happens. So that's my progress on everything. That's my usage on everything. Like I said, I, I tend to, one, I tend to update this every other month. And like I said, right now I'm concentrating on this one shadow, trying to get that used up. So, you know, these are taking a back burner, which is kind of why I like this, this type of project as well, because they are my back burners. Um, like you know, they're not my highest priority. So updating it every other month is fine by me. But yeah, I really don't think I'm going to be back until updating this project until December. So we'll see. Really, it's just going to depend on how quickly I can use up this one shadow and then I can start having, you know, bringing these back into rotation. And we'll see how quickly that happens. And when I can bring them back into rotation, how many more uses I can get on them. I would love to get like, mm, I'd love to get 15 uses on my one single shade and see where we're at with that. And then everything else will also fall in line. So hopefully we can do that. That would be 15 use, so like 10 more uses on it, essentially. Anyways, okay, <laughs> I'm feeling very tongue tied. I've filmed a lot. I've been talking at this camera in my room by myself for a very long time. 
anyways thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed let me know how your projects are going how your uses are going anything that you're doing hit me up let me know i love to hear it um and yeah i hope you're doing well have a good day bye